SecurityCameraKing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install GBMSS on your Android phone. First, you have to make sure that you're uh, able to install third-party applications on your phone. So you have to go to your settings on your phone and make sure that that option is configured. To do that, you're going to have to go to settings. You have to go to applications. You have to make sure that this option, unknown sources, is checked. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to install uh, any other applications or third-party applications. Okay, once that is done, you can go back to uh, the main screen of the phone. Then, uh, recommend you to download the software uh, using the phone itself, using the internet connection on the phone. So, for that, you're going to have to go to the internet icon and open up a web page uh, called support.techprosecurity.com. Once it's loaded, it will be something like this. You're going to have to go to forums and downloads. Then uh, on forums and downloads, you have to uh, look for an option that says remote viewing software. And then you click on it. And uh, there is uh, different options there. You're going to have to look for the one that says Android mobile viewer software and manual. Click on it. Here you can maximize the screen and then choose the one that says GBMSS 2.20.0. Uh, this is the newest and the latest and greatest uh, DMSS out there. Uh, you can click on it to install the APK and then here it will show you uh, the, the download once it says to start downloading. You can go right there and it will show you that that is downloading something right now. Once it's downloading, you can install it. It's completely free. Uh, you can download it from a website. All right, right now it is still downloading and then it says download complete. Then you can go to, uh, again, to the main menu of your screen or your phone and then double click that application and it will show you this. You have to uh, in click install and then application install. You click open or you click don't. I'm going to click open to start configuring it. It's a new interface. Uh, then you're going to have to, you will see you will be presented with this menu. Uh, from here, you can go to uh, the device list and add your DVR. Uh, on this demonstration, I have this phone attached to my wireless, so I'm internally on the network, so I will be using the internal IP of the DVR. Uh, by default, is 192.168.1.108, and the port that it uses to communicate with the DVR is 37777. Uh, for this demonstration, my IP is not that one that 108 is that one that 36, so that's what I'm going to be putting in there. So I click Edit, click Add, and here we'll be presented with this interface for the device list. Here you can put uh, the uh, whatever name you wanted to. Uh, I can put uh, let's put Office. Then um, next you're going to have to. Uh, put the server. On the server, you're going to have to put the IP of the DVR, and for that, you're going to have to, uh, of course, change to your keypad, uh, numeric pad, and I'm going to type 192.168.1.36. This is my IP of my DVR. Yours is going to be that one that 108 if you haven't changed it. Next field is the port field, and it's 37. 777. It uses the TCP port of the DVR. Uh, if you go to your network configurations on your DVR, you will see it right there. Username, the username you access the DVR with. My uh, default again is admin admin or 888868 as a username and 68 as a password. Okay. Uh, here we're going to put the password.
here you put the amount of channels that your DVI has. This is a 16 channel, so I'm good. Uh, then uh, that is all is to it. Then what we have to do is click OK and click Done. Then click the GBMSS button right there in the corner. Then you go to Live Preview. From here you will see uh, uh, four windows. This this phone this uh, app supports only four uh, window view. Here you will see the speaker to mute that particular, uh, you know, if you have audio on your DVR, you can mute the audio on it. Here you can go back to uh, your device list when you click that button and choose it from there. Here you can choose only uh, one camera to be closed. Um, then, for example, if you have full screen, you can basically close that particular channel just using that. Here you have uh, your favorites list. Uh, here you have your snapshot, and here you have your PTC control. So, to add a camera, you're going to have to go to each channel and click the plus. Then, from the device list, you can you're going to click the device that you just added. Just click, let's say channel one, for example, and then uh, so on and so forth. You can just basically click on each channel you want to add a camera, and. In this case, I'm going to add channel 5 and channel 3. So um, you can see, you know, the four cameras at once, they're playing, con you know, uh, at the same time. You can double tap one and you can uh, basically go ahead and move the camera by sliding your finger across the screen or by using the PTC controller. You can go up and down. That right, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Then, if you wanted to exit the full screen view, you can just double tap it again. If the camera has audio, automatically the camera will play audio once you are in that particular camera. So, that's one of the, the key benefits. You can play four channels at the same time, any camera you want, but to only four channel view and audio if you are recording audio on. Your DVR, you can stream audio to the to the phone itself. As well, you can have the landscape view and the portrait view, and uh, you can take a snapshot of a particular channel you want. You can just basically double click on it and put it full screen and click the the snapshot, and it will say you know the safe uh, snapshot has been captured. And you can go from here and add different cameras if you want to. It's very easy to use. It's very intuitive. Very cool features it has uh, for uh, the software itself. Is it has very cool features. Uh, once you close the software and you open it up again, you will be uh, the, the software itself is going to open the cameras that I previously added. So when I click on it again, GDMSS, it's going to open. You know, if I go to Live Preview. You see it opens up automatically the last cameras you have uh, attached to it or added to the device list the last time. Okay, I hope this is being informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.